everybody. Right, today I'm replacing the rear prop shaft donut. That, um, because there was a really bad vibration in first and second, but it got worse when I was cornering. So, I narrowed it down to something to do with the drive. Now, I had a quick look underneath and I discovered this. That does not look very happy. So, we're replacing that today and um, I'll get myself all set up and I'll be with you shortly. Hello, right, now you join me underneath it. Obviously the handy thing about having this lifted up and everything, no jacks required. Right then, now, first things first, I'm going to undo these four bolts here to take this off the drum. This is your handbrake drum. The handbrake doesn't go to the rear wheels. It goes to this, which locks, obviously, this prop shaft, uh, which does need adjusting, so that will be another video. Right. Um. Now this is a special tool, it's a 14mm and um, you can get these on eBay, they're not much at all. Um, I'll put a the product number in the description so if you do want one, they're not much, I think I bought this, I got this and I also got um, new prop shaft bolts. Um, so that's the only reason I got this one, because it came with new bolts and I was doing my front one that I completely obliterated in when I went off road in. Uh, I'll put a picture up uh, to show you what I'd actually done. So, <clears throat> right then. Dead simple. They're captive, so you don't need to hold this, anything on the other side. Right, let's quickly get these off. Here's a ratchet first. Just allows for easier access to get onto the bolts with this tool. There we go. I'll so say you will get out. Number two. Number four. Right, all you do then is just pull it off the drum. It's a little bit fiddly, fiddly. so just persevere. This is going to be a bigger job than I thought because I'll have a look. That bit basically, the bolt here has been rubbing against that bit. 
I was lucky, nothing broke really. Oh dear, right. Well, I'll get it off anyway, because it needs to come off. And we'll, um, we'll show you what the damage is once I've got it off. Fourteen, uh, nineteen mils. In fact, I might just be able to, yeah. Three, just there.
and that's number three. There it comes off. Yeah, it's even damaged my prop shaft. And as you can see, there's a big groove there. You can see where it's flat. It's the same there as well. Groove there. So, right. looks like it's going to have to be a new rear prop shaft and a new diff, uh, bit. new diff flange, but yeah, there's a the rubber donut. Take them out. Hey, that's not even circular. It's more of a triangle, but basically, problems you have when you run a lifted suspension on one of these prop shafts. So, the way to get around it this is a 300 TDI, and on a 200 TDI, I basically got one of them both ends, so you've got all that movement. Obviously, with that end, it doesn't move. It's just solid. So obviously, because it's lifted, instead of it being like that, it's at an angle. Because it's got to go up towards this, towards the drum. So it puts extra strain on this. So instead of being flat like that, it's constantly bent at the bottom. So the best thing to do is to get rid of this system altogether and get a 200 TDR prop shaft, rear prop shaft, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Because that one, I'm lucky, that didn't snap. To be fair, 